Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Essie's Viva Antigua and I'm going to do some water decals on them. I've started off this manicure with my Nail Teaks Formula 2 as my base coat. And I found the Essie Viva Antigua at my local Walgreens and it was marked down to $4.50. I could not pass it up. I'm also going to be applying a coat of the American Classics Yellow Stopper. I saw Chris Thon use that Viva Antigua and I just was like, I need that. <laughs> it is a beautiful polish and it had an excellent formula. So here we go. Here is the Essie Viva Antigua. I want you to see how smooth this goes on. Very, very, happy. very, very, very happy with the formula on this one. I know Essies are hit or miss with me sometimes on the formula, but this one was really, really good. And I love the color, it's so pretty. Got some shimmers going on in it. And that is the first coat. We're going to go in for a second coat. I almost always do two coats. Even if I don't need it, I always do them. It's kind of a habit. But this one just, oh, love it. Very happy I grabbed this one. I'm going to top it off with some pure ice girl on the run and get it to dry down before I, I apply these water decals. I just love love this color I think it's a good color for spring or summer it's just oh lovely orange wood stick alert and here is my photo of the Essie Viva Antigua all on its own and here we go we're going to be using these water decals and I got these decals in a bundle from the born pretty store it was a whole bunch of them and this is a 207 I've already removed the little plastic sheet off of it and I'm going to just cut one more out because I'm only doing four nails today I'm still working on that um, patch on my thumbnail so it's going to be a naked nail today and these do not take very long in the water um, before they start to slide off they just slide off so quickly Pat that one down. Very pretty. And I'm going to do another one and get it rolling. And I loved how thin these decals were. They really laid flat on the nail, and I didn't have any issues trying to get, you know, get them to smooth out with my top coat and everything. And this one's being a little difficult. There we go. I'm going to try to get... Oh, now it's stuck to my finger. Hang on. There we go. Just keep patting it down. Okay, I've got it in place, so I'm going to tap it with a paper towel just to get the excess water off of it. There we go. Two down, two to go. And the one I'm putting on my ring finger is... It, it looks like a little dragonfly. After I got to looking at it, I wasn't really sure what it was, but <laughs> I think it's a dragonfly. Maybe you guys can tell me after you see my swatch photo. Trying to get that one placed and soak up the excess water. And the last one for my pinky. Almost knocked over my water. That's why I don't use a really big container because I'm prone to knocking things over. I can clean up a little bit of a mess, but a big mess is just too much. Here we go. We're going to slide that one off onto the nail. And this one I've got to place a little bit better. And now I'm going to tap the water out of it also. There you go. I'm going to top this off with some pure ice. Girl on the run. Seal those decals in. Because if you don't, you wash your hands, they're going to come right off. You'll be very disappointed. 
gap in my end. But I really enjoyed this one. I loved playing with the decals and going through all my stacks of them and trying to figure out which colors I wanted to use on top of this Viva Antigua. But I really hope you like it. And I'd love to hear what you think. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this one. And until next time, be good to yourself. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.